What do you think British Columbians should know about it? Well, first of all, I think they should know a bit about the history of H5N1, which is one of the different kinds of avian influenza. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a virus, an influenza type virus, and it's typically carried by migratory birds within Canada that come into contact with domestic birds like chickens. And it spreads extremely easily within these bird populations, but it's rare for humans to catch it and transmit it from, from human to human. And you mentioned this one case that we saw in a BC teenager. So this is the first case of, uh, of a domestic human acquisition of this virus within Canada. Um, and we've seen about 50 cases in the US since March, and then about 900 cases globally since we saw the first human case in the 1990s. Um, and I just want people to know that until now, it's been very rare for, for transmission to happen from human to human. It still is quite rare. Um, and to avoid it in general, avoiding close contact with birds or their saliva or their droppings is very important. But it's also uh, common or, or not common, but possible to acquire it through droplets or aerosols. So, so anytime you're around kind of a, a large flock of birds, whether you work among them or whether you're, you're kind of recreationally among them with your, your family or your pets, it's, it's good to pay attention, extra attention right now. Mm. Given that, how concerning is this? Well, it is concerning to public health because one issue is that, again, we haven't seen much human to human transmission yet, but because we're in, we're just ramping up flu season right now, it's possible if a human were to be co-infected with avian influenza and the regular highly transmissible, transmissible human to human influenza, that there could be some crossover between the two viruses. And then you could start to see uh, an avian influenza that is more easily transmitted between humans. And this is, this is quite concerning because we know that cases to date, there's about a 50% mortality rate when a human catches avian influenza. Now that said, that statistic may be a bit inflated because often uh, very typically mild cases won't go reported, but there is quite a high um, case morbidity and mortality rate if a human were to catch avian influenza. Okay. And because of the different strains, uh, the H5N1 is known to have uh, be more likely to have severe symptoms. Is that correct? That's right. So if a human were to catch it, which again, to date has been quite rare, mm -hmm. only about 900 cases globally in the last 20 to 30 years, they will often experience, if it becomes a serious case, what's called acute respiratory distress syndrome is when your lung tissue becomes inflamed because of an over response from your immune system and your airways fill with fluid. And that often requires hospitalization in an acute care setting, which is what we saw in the teenager who's been hospitalized in BC.